Hi, I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you. Uh, welcome to my craft channel. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you can um, not miss out on any other videos I make. Um, today I'm going to be making this lovely uh, Santa gift package. Uh, these are lint Santas and I've just made a package. This will make a beautiful gift and um, it will work nice with uh, tags. Don't forget if you use my code this October, um, then you will be able to um, ask for either the gold set to make of the tags or the silver set to make of the tags. Uh, so uh, you can request either of those. Um, also, uh, if there are things on this Santa as I make it up that you would like instead, I could give you so many of these to uh, make up. The only thing that I wouldn't be able to give you is um, the stamping the Merry Christmas, but everything else I would be able to give you. OK, so um, without further ado, I will just uh, leave that there for you. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Right. Thank you very much. So we're starting off with a piece um, of cardstock that is the length of a normal A4 um, size. Now, you could use this 11 inches. You will just not have a bigger uh, lap over that I have on mine to make it up. But it will work for you if you're American and you're using just the 11 inch uh, size card. So it is two and a half. Uh, yes, two and a half in width. OK, and I'm going to take off my um, cutting blade so I don't spoil it. So first of all, on the 11 and uh, I think ours is, um, I don't know whether it's 11 and a, uh, let's have a look. It's 11 and three quarters roughly is our card. So what we're going to do, as I say, put it in on your longest side and you're going to score it at four and a half. So just put that in, score it at four and a half. Then you're going to move it along to six and seven eighths. So that is six and seven eighths and score. And then you eight and three eighths. So that's eight and three eighths. And then ten and three quarters. Now, as I say, if you've only got 11 inch card, you will just have quarter of an inch, but that will work for you to still do it. But I'm just leaving it as the what was left on the cardstock. OK, so you're going to have that there. OK, just move my trim out of the way. Now, just roughly so that you can see which part you need to stick your um, card to. If you bend it round, just like I've done, so we're going to bend up, up, round and down. Now, don't worry about the back for the moment. All we're interested in is this is the top piece where we need to mount our card. So our DSP measures um, for where the sand goes in is two and three eighths across and two and a quarter in depth. So we're going to pop that on there. So I'm going to use liquid glue. So you can use your preferred glue. Now, this is an old DSP, as you can see. It's the one that we got free with celebration at the beginning of the year. And, of course, there's two sides to it. So um, I thought this was great for Christmas. Now, uh, later on, I might make some with other Christmas paper. So you're not stuck to making it with this. I just It's just really gone well with this. So I'm using this, as I say, if you shop with me, then you can request uh, to have the Santa package, we'll call it, rather than the gift tags this month. 
Uh, right, so now we've got that on there, I'm just going to put my pin on my glue. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the wheel, uh, what do we call it? The rud It steers the rudder um, helm. I think it's called a helm because you steer at the helm. So you're going to use that. That's from your uh, sailing home dies. And you're going to put that in the middle here. So I'm going to bring in my mini. And we're just going to take this through the mini. Uh, and just make sure that you have got this now this is easy to do because this has got four points like a compass that you can use you can look at that point there and there and there and there to make it central now if you've got a bit of washi tape i did do this i'll just move this and pop it down here i did do this without uh, any um tape but i'm just going to use it on camera because you know, things go wrong on camera that you'll just wing normally. So I think I'll just put that there and hold it in position and that's going to go through. Now this helps to secure the Santa in position. So you could just uh, use any of your circle dies that you've got uh, that will, or an oval die that will fit your Santa in. You just have to measure your Santa base uh, to um, do that. Right, so I'm just going to peel that out. Not going to bother with that, leave that. So that leaves you that like that. Now what I'm going to do is um, the only thing that you can't get and you can use a circle die is the edge one it used to be called a starburst. It's this punch. OK, so I've used the starburst punch, but the internal bit I've used is from uh, the, um, what are they called? I always forget these, what these dies are called. They're just wonderful label dies that go with tasteful touches. So they're the dies that go with tasteful touches. And I just cut that uh, with my punch and then put that in the middle hold it with washi tape and run it through so you've got the lovely decorative edge and this could be plain this could be stitched if you've got one or scalloped if you've got one all you've got to do is find a die that's bigger than this by about a quarter of an inch to just go round so i'm just going to glue this in position let me move my uh mini thing away now so I'm just going to go around here. Now, on the project that I've just made, I use total wet glue. Uh, it will work totally with wet glue. I'm quite, uh, I like using wet glue. It gives you wriggle room. So now you can see to put this in position so you get an equal increment all the way around. Now, it's showing me... I've done this that uh, didn't quite get it as far forward as I wanted because it's gone very close to the back but that still works it doesn't matter this too much if you're out a little bit doesn't matter at all so uh, what we're going to do now is just fold it round in to position uh, just to check that everything's all right yes you've got it in the right place and I'm just going to mark from the top, I'm going to mark three inches down and put a little bit of a mark. So I'm going to use my trimmer and going to pop this back in. And at three inches, I'm just going to mark this very slightly there and there on my track so i've marked at the three inches there and there that just gives you a guide when you are bringing it up but i found that when i glued it before how i did do it, it you didn't need to do that uh, it will work so uh, but just in case it doesn't i've got my guide there okay so what i did is i rounded my corners now at the top 
and then I have got another piece of DSP and this measures um, two and seven eighths and two and three eighths going across the top and I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to round this and then pop this on the top here so you can use any coloured card I mean you could go totally modern and, and do it in something that's not traditionally Christmas at all um, I'm just using up old card stock it actually is colour me clover that I'm working with but uh, it will work with any colour uh, card any colour DSP that tones with it so uh, and also we'll put our uh, DSP on the front as well so this is going down from there and this measures two and three eighths going across again and one and three eighths going down and we're going to put that we'll go there okay uh, well actually I'm going to use the wet glue so all I did was uh, put all my wet glue here on the back here So I'm going to coat that in there and bent it so that it bends just there. So it's bending on the top one and just brought this over and just did that with it so that you're sealing it. And then it will also, so you could make these in advance and, and keep them flat like this. So it would work to do that. So I'm going to do that. Now, the Merry Christmas, I have used this punch. And for the life of me, I always forget what it's called. Label me fancy. OK, so what I've done is I, uh, I've done my Merry Christmas from the Perfectly Plaid. And it's a beautiful font. And I've cut it out with uh, the, um, banner, uh, the punch there. And then... I have cut another one in gold now what I'm going to do is normally I cut them in half and do that now what have I done with my scissors I'll use these for now because um, I seem to have misplaced my best scissors what I'm going to do is cut on the diagonal so I'm just going to go absolutely diagonally across like this and I'm going to get my tear and tape and stick my tear and tape on the back of my Merry Christmas. So I'm going to stick a piece at the top and I'm going to cut it to be quick. And I'm going to put a piece on the bottom here. OK, so there we go. There and just rub that down a minute and fetch your tape off your top and bottom get rid of those and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop my gold label there and just bring this up so that I've got a nice shadow going off so I'm getting it level and a shadow going off at the top then I'm going to bring that back in at the bottom and get that about the same at the bottom getting it straight so that you've got a shadow like that and I think that's rather lovely and then I'm just going to stick this flat so I'm just going to pop my glue on here so I'm going to stick this flat down so we've got that make sure my Merry Christmas is the right way then I'll stick this so I've got equal increments all the way round so that's about right okay now the christmas tree i've used the uh, i think it's called the pine punch and uh, again i've used something that isn't current uh, but i couldn't resist using these because uh what have i done with them there Again, if you shop with me, I can send you these in with the pack. And they're the little ornaments that uh, came with a stamp uh, set. 
um, well, a bundle. So I'm just going to get different ones out and stick these on my Christmas tree. We haven't done anything like this. These are baubles, so I just thought that these were fun uh, ones to do. And as I say, if you um, want to make this exactly and you shop with me, I can send you these. And then also we've got a star. What have I done with my star for the top of the Christmas tree? Where have I put that? So there it is. I've got my star for the top of the Christmas tree. So uh, any star will do. Uh, and I'm just going to pop that at the top of the Christmas tree. So that can go like that. We'll be all right in a minute because I'm going to stick a dimensional on it so we'll not have to worry about it. And then I'm just going to position these anywhere on the Christmas tree really. So I'm going to pretend they, let's come over here a bit, pretend they're hanging down. So I'm going to kind of do one off a branch there and another one down here you could make them come off at the bottom if you wanted to and um, just you can place them anywhere there's no wrong no right positioning um it's just how you want to decorate your christmas tree oh now i'm getting those off there so just make make them uh, go at different angles so i'm gonna position this different this time because i Got too many rounds together. That one can go up there, and we'll pop this one on there like that. So making them look as though they're coming off the end there, and then one in the middle. So put that there. So what I'm going to do now is get. Uh, my dimensionals so i'm just going to stick a couple of big ones down the middle so let's stick a couple of mini uh, big ones down there and then i'm just going to get a mini to stick on my star okay so the star that will fix my star stop it moving about as so once that's on there it will stop it moving okay so that's and the stars looking a bit there we go so and then just pop this closer to the uh, top just make sure it's about even either way whoops it will help if i take off these bottom two i've taken off the top two but not the bottom two so positioning that near the top and then just commit and press down now here the reason why we've got these is because we're going to bend those in and because we're not bending them in too much when we put our santa in it will grab hold of these okay so we can squash it into position so I'll just squash it that way squash it in position get our santa and our santa then just if you don't feel it's squashed out enough, just uh, squash them out a little bit more. Don't go too mad with them because you want it to hold in position. So that will hold it more securely. OK, and then these beautiful food bags. Look at these. These have got their snowflakes on. So uh, these are completely food safe. These are, are, I think, the three inches by the three inches by nine. So these are the gusseted three inches by nine. So I think they're absolutely wonderful. I love the the snow because my um, DSP looks as though it's got snow on it as well, really. So you push them down at the, the bottom you can uh, I think I might have done it oh, I pushed it in the wrong way I think 
and just, just slip that set that slips down better so you've got the side okay so i want to finish this one off now so i'm going to get some uh, gold thread now we've got different gold threads so um there's this one happens to be from uh, the tag buffet set that we had uh, in clearance at the moment so just gonna tie i'm not going to tie that fully because i want to make up a tag now so uh, i've already got um some of uh, the gold ribbon on here so that's fine and i'm going to put the present one on here just put some dimensionals on the back of this now again i will put a merry christmas on this as well so i'm not going to put loads i'm just going to put a couple so they're gonna go on here like that and i'm not making it up as the one this one went with something else but i thought this went rather nice oh sorry this went rather nice with that so i'm gonna thread this through here now i will do another merry christmas from this set so just gonna thread this through the back so thread this through the back here so that that's what will make that hold on and then i can now tie my bow so let's do this so as i say there are plenty of uh, gold uh, threads and silver threads because you could go silver with this as well so i'm gonna go like that and then uh, i'll have a bow on here and there we go so i've got oops where's that gone what's happened here oops my um this one's come undone how dare it okay so i'll have to snip that off later but i will need to trim those um and i've taken my sharp scissors and what have I done with them? I've had them out, I can see them. Right, so I'll just take that off there and just do the faux bow with that there and there. So we've got that and then I'll put a Merry Christmas across the top. You could put that down the back if you want to see your Santa. So we've got uh, the Santa going off there and um, say we could twist that and put that on the back or on the side if you want to see your, your Santa. There we go. So we could do that like that and cut off our bits of thread here make sure that that bows you could do it with your larger ribbon as well so you could um, do some there just make that bow go there like that so you there is your merry christmas santa and there's your lovely label so this is in clearance so you can pick those up in clearance the tag buffet set um it i think i will uh print this merry christmas um print it stamp it and put it on there as well and then of course put your to and fro on the back as well but uh hope you liked that you can't see the santa you see if you put it in front but you might want to hide your santa uh, or have it to the side coming off like that so it's however you want it but um there you go so Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked my um, packaging for the um, Lint Santa. Um, and I will be back with more Christmas projects another day. Thank you very much. Stay safe, stay well. Don't forget to share my video. Thank you. Bye.